Hello and a very warm welcome to this lesson. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you about IELTS speaking test part one. Our topic is evenings. Evenings. Now, evening is the time from around six o'clock to the time you go to bed. So evening refers to the time from around six o'clock to the time when you go to bed. That is evening. Now, if you're preparing yourself for an eyelid speaking test, then there is a chance that you will get some questions on this topic. Now, we're going to look at some questions and some sample answers. By the end of this lesson, I hope that you will be able to speak about this topic without any problems. Now, let us look at question one. What do you often do in the evenings? What? Do you often do in the evenings now when the examiner asks you that question what they want to know is what sort of things do you usually do in the evenings what sort of things do you usually do in the evenings how do you spend your time in the evenings what sort of things do you actually do now, the key word here is often, which means usually, which means most of the time, okay? Now, to answer this question, you may say, on most evenings, I watch my favorite programs on television, such as the news and a few documentaries. But I do also enjoy chatting to my wife and children after dinner. On most evenings, I watch my favorite programs on television, such as the news and a few documentaries. But I do also enjoy chatting to my wife and children after dinner. Remember for each question to provide at least two to three points. You can use two to three sentences. Join your sentences together using linking words such as and, and but, or such as, okay? So on most evenings, I watch my favorite programs on television such as the news and a few documentaries but I also enjoy chatting to my wife and children after dinner. Now in that answer I have used linking words but I have also used a complex sentence. In English we have three different types of sentences simple, compound and complex. The examiner expects you to use a variety of sentence structures in your answers. So if you're not familiar with those three types of sentences, feel free to have a look at my playlist on grammar and you will find a video about the three different types of sentences that we have in English and how you form them. Now, let's move on to question two. But before we move on to question two, take note of the fact that in question one, you're actually describing, okay? You are describing the sort of things that you do in the evenings. You don't simply say, I watch television. Now, that does not give you a chance to showcase that you have a good command of the English language. 
Instead, you, you talk about favorite programs on television and then you give some examples such as the news and a few documentaries. But that's not all. You also spend some time chatting to your wife and children. Now, if you don't have a wife or children, then you can say that. You, you spend some time. You, I also enjoy chatting to my friends and family members online or on the phone. Okay? So, question two. Do you do the same? Do you do the same thing every evening? Do you do the same thing every evening? The examiner wants to know whether your evening routine is the same every day. He or she wants to know if your routine in the evenings is always the same. Do you do exactly the same things? Now, you may answer this question by saying, yes, my evening routine is very repetitive. As soon as I return from college at five o'clock, I take a shower, dress up, then I prepare dinner, which we eat at 6 p.m. After that, I tidy up the kitchen and then I watch TV till Bedtime at 10 o'clock. Yes, my evening routine is very repetitive. As soon as I return from college at 5 o'clock, I take a shower, dress up, then I prepare dinner, which we eat at 6 p.m. After that, I tidy up the kitchen and then I watch television till bedtime at 10 o'clock. So what you have done in that answer, you have actually described your routine. You have described what sort of things that you do every evening. Because remember the question was, do you do the same thing every evening? And you have answered that question directly by saying yes. Now after that, then you need to explain your evening routine. What sort of things do you do? Now, in this case, in the answer, the routine is repetitive. Repetitive means that you do the same things every single day. Okay, it is repetitive. So, yes, my evening routine is very repetitive. As soon as I return from college at 5 o'clock, I take a shower, dress up, then I prepare dinner, which we eat at 6 p.m. After that, I tidy up the kitchen and then I watch television till bedtime at 10 o'clock. You notice that in that answer, I have also used a variety of sentence structures. I have used a simple sentence, which is the first one. Yes, my evening routine is very repetitive. And then after that, I have used a complex sentence. As soon as I return from college at five o'clock, I take a shower, dress up, then I prepare dinner, which we eat at 6 p.m. And I've been able to do that through the use of commas. Now, remember when you're doing your IELTS speaking test, you are also expected to use intonation when you're speaking. And that means that sometimes you raise your voice, sometimes you speak a bit, you know, you lower your voice, and sometimes you have poses. Like, for example, that's when you pose where you have the commas. As soon as I return from college at 5 o'clock, I take a shower, dress up, then I prepare dinner, which we eat at 6 p.m. So after the commas, ensure that you pause, okay? And then finally, in the last sentence, we have a compound sentence. And I have joined two sentences together there using the linking word and. Now, let's move on to question four. 
Do you ever work or study in the evenings? Do you ever work or study in the evenings? The examiner wants to know, now, do you usually study? Okay. Like, for example, if you're following a course at university or college or high school, do you spend your evenings doing your work from school or do you work? So, assuming that you have a job, do you bring some of your work home so that you do some of it at home in the evenings? That's what the examiner wants to know. Now, you may answer this question by saying it, um, oh, sorry, I was looking at question four. So anyway, let's look at question four first. Now, question four. So you may answer this question when the examiner says, do you ever work or study in the evenings? You can answer that question by saying, I tend to only do my homework in the evenings, especially in English to improve faster. Okay. Do you ever work or study in the evenings? I tend to only do my homework in the evenings, especially in English, to improve faster. Okay. Now, you can choose to make that answer longer. You can say, for example, I tend to only do my homework in the evenings, especially in English, to improve faster. But when I have some extra time, then I try to study other subjects such as maths and geography. This takes me about an hour or so, okay? So that is one way that you can answer that question. But if you work, then you can say, I tend to spend a few hours in the evenings doing my work. Usually this involves making a few phone calls, writing emails and sending them, but also replying to some emails. Okay. Yes, I do spend a lot of time, a few hours in the evening doing some work. For example, I usually spend some time writing sending and replying to emails as well as making a plan for the next day on my agenda okay so you could also say something like that if you work now let's go back to question three because i skipped that question question three do you prefer to spend your evenings with friends or with family do you prefer to spend your evenings with friends or with family now what the examiner is asking you there is if you have a choice what do you find more enjoyable spending time with friends or with family in the evenings what do you what would you rather do would you rather spend your evenings chatting to your friends or would you rather spend your evenings with your family? Okay. Now, answer sample three is, it depends. But in general, I prefer to just spend a quiet evening with my family, chatting, watching our favorite shows and films on Netflix. On a few evenings, we do invite a few friends for a meal and drinks, and that is often fun. So when you begin your answer with, it depends. When you have been given two choices and your answer is, it depends, then it means that you're going to talk a little bit about both of those choices, okay? If you begin your answer with, it depends, then it means that you're going to respond to the two choices that you have been provided with in the question and in this case it was spending your evenings with friends and spending your evenings with family and in my answer i started with 
spending time with family because that is what I prefer. In general, that is what I prefer. And then I finished with that there are some occasions when I prefer to have friends when we invite them because that is sometimes fun. Okay, so the answer was it depends, but in general, I prefer to just spend a quiet evening with my family, chatting, watching our favorite shows and films on Netflix. On a few evenings, we do invite a few friends for a meal and drinks, and that is often fun. Okay, now again, in that sentence, I have used a variety of uh, sentence structures, I have used complex and compound sentences and I have joined my ideas together using linking words such as but, okay, and, but I've also used a few commas, okay, and that also helps you to provide more information but remember when you use a comma then to pause. Let's move on to question five. What is a popular activity for young people in your country in the evenings? What is a popular activity for young people in your country in the evenings? Now be very careful because question one, two, three, and four, you need to talk about your personal opinion. This is about you. But question five is not about you. It is asking you about what young people in your country in the evenings do. So in this question, do not express your personal opinion. Okay. Now, question five. What is a popular activity for young people in your country in the evenings? Let's look at a sample answer. Number five. Majority of them love to spend their evenings on social media platforms such as Instagram, chatting to their friends, or watching YouTube. Okay, so question five is asking you, what do most young people in your country prefer to do in the evenings? Okay, what sort of things do most young people in your country prefer to do in the evenings and in the answer we have majority of them love to spend their evenings on social media platforms such as Instagram chatting to their friends or watching YouTube okay so in that answer I have used the word majority okay because you can't say all of them you can't say all of them because not everyone loves to do the same thing. However, it is the majority and that takes care of the popular part of the question. What is a popular activity? A popular activity is an activity that is done by the majority of the people. Okay, So majority of them love to spend their evenings on social media platforms. And then you give some examples such as Instagram and Explain what they do on Instagram, chatting to their friends. But what else do they do? They love to watch YouTube, okay? Because I have said most of them prefer to spend their evenings on social media platforms. So I have to give more than one example. I can't just speak of Instagram alone because I've talked of platforms. So there is Instagram and then there is YouTube. Now, question six. Do you do the same thing in the evenings as you did when you were a child? Do you do the same thing in the evenings as you did when you were a child? Now, what that question is asking you is, back in the day when you were a, a child, okay, what sort of things did you do in the evenings? And now that you are an adult, what sort of things do you do in the evenings? And are they the same? So the examiner wants to know, uh, do you do exactly the same things that you used to do when you were a child? Now, you may answer this question by saying, not at all. When I was a child, I went to bed at 7 o'clock. 
but now I often stay up till 10 p.m. I spend more time on my tablet and on television too. So the answer is no, you do not do the same things that you used to do when you were a child. And one of the things that you do not do is you don't go to bed early you, as you used to when you were a child. When I was a child, I went to bed at 7 o'clock, but now I often stay up till 10 p.m. But that's not that's not, not the only that's not the only difference. There is also another difference, and that is the fact that you spend more time on your tablet. Okay, you spend a lot of time on your tablet, and you also spend a lot of time on television, watching television. Now, when you're a child, you never did those things. Okay, you went to bed at seven o'clock. Okay, you had no time. There were no tablets back then. And you also spend very little time watching television, okay? But now as an adult, you spend a lot, of mo a lot more time watching television. You spend time on your tablet, but also you, sp you go to bed later, that is at 10 p.m. So in this case, you can give any answer. Just remember to point out the differences. Do you do the same thing in the evenings as you did when you were a child? You can say also something like, not at all. When I was a child, I spent the evenings with my parents telling me, um, narrating to me stories. Um, and then we would eat together and I would go to bed after playing outside with my friends. But now... That has completely changed. I don't get told any stories anymore, okay, as an adult. And also, I don't play outside with my friends anymore. Uh, instead, I spend the evenings um, watching television, playing um my favorite music and chatting with my friends on the phone okay so just remember if you choose to um, answer that question uh, in that way that is also fine the main idea is that you give some differences between the things you used to do as a child and the things that you do now okay now this brings me to the end of this lesson. Before I finish the lesson, I'm just going to give you a few tips um, on how to ensure that you pass your IELTS speaking test, part one. Number one, for each question, make, make sure that you provide two to three ideas, two to three reasons in two to three sentences. Join your sentences together using thinking words. Secondly, ensure that you use vocabulary that is relevant to that particular topic that you're talking about. And number three, ensure that you use intonation in your answers. Know when to raise your voice, when to lower your, 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 your voice, and also when to pause as you're speaking. Okay? Now, I hope you found this lesson useful and if you found the lesson informative then subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up, share the video with your friends and I would like to welcome all the new subscribers. Thank you for joining the family and for those of you who have been watching the videos and you have not subscribed yet then subscribe to the channel and be, become part of this family, okay? Now, thank you very much for watching and see you in our next lesson. Bye-bye.